everyone's so, everyone's so riddled with insecurity, and that's okay. You know, you have to just kind of like acknowledge it or notice it. You know, but it it comes out, it manifests in so many. Like, what's that thing that Jesus has a great quote, and I'm paraphrasing it. Like, if you, if you don't deal with your shit, your shit deals with you. But it's not that. It's like if you don't deal with your shit. I don't know what it is. I can only think of it in that way, but it's like what put forth, I think it has forth in it. Um, but it does, it comes out in so many different ways if you don't deal with it or, you know what I mean? Like people have a chip on their shoulder, they feel like they're being disrespected all the time, you know? That's insecurity or like they get really braggy. You know, they need you to know everything they have, or famous people they know, but maybe they'll, maybe they'll shroud it and, and, and you know, act like um, they're not bragging, you know, like that. The way you can name drop, but if you, like, shit on the person, it doesn't count, like, ugh, my inbox, it's so full. It's like, how many videos of a monkey smelling his assy fingers and falling out of a tree can Helen Mirren send me? It's like, I just want to point out that I don't even have a Blackberry and that was unbelievable space work done. Like only my thumb. Um, insecurity. You know, it's sometimes people, they, they it's delusion. You know, they, it's, a, it's the way that they protect themselves is that they see themselves in a more positive way or a different way than the rest of the world sees them. They, they need to do that. They need to delude themselves. I mean, you get the idea that if there are some people, if they were maybe one or two degrees more onto themselves, they would fucking kill themselves. You know what I mean? I include myself in that. You know, it's like, I get out of the shower, I'm like, nice try, mirror. Those are obviously my mom's boobs. <laughs> There should be some tags to that joke. It's good. The setup shouldn't be longer than the punchline. I've got some notes. We'll go over it later. <laughs> or like when guys go like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> yeah, like jerking off. Do you know? That's real, right? Yeah, I didn't dream that. <laughs> that's insecurity. What is that? That's, that's a guy saying, whatever it is we're talking about right here, I don't give a shit. <laughs> really? I mean, if he really didn't give a shit, wouldn't he just not do anything at all? Wouldn't he just be like... <laughs> <laughs> this is like insecurity burbling out of him. Yeah. It's so important to this person that you do not think he cares. God forbid anyone thinks I care about something. That's such an embarrassing thing nowadays. In exchange, feel free to know my personal masturbation style. <laughs> Please don't think I care. Oh my God, I would fucking die if you thought I care. Instead, feel free to know that my way that I masturbate at home is like, I don't move this like I move this. <laughs> My hand is locked. And then I like, I pretend it's a vagina. And then I fuck my hand. Like she's shorter than me, I have to like scoop it in. You guys get the side view. This is weird because I'm wearing low crotch pants and I know that's in style, but I feel like I want to have a sign that says, my vagina ends here. And you know the crotch goes to here. I don't want you to think my vagina's ending here. My vagina, that's where it's ending. Like that's base of the ball. You guys are doing great. Don't tell girls that they can be anything they want when they grow up. I think that's a mistake. I really do. I'm not being, you know, con con 
What's it when you want the opposite just for the opposite sake? Contrarian. Contrarian. <laughs> the audience doesn't know that word at the cellar. <laughs> Nothing contrarian. <laughs> um, but uh, uh, I don't even remember at all. Don't tell girls they can be anything they want when they grow up because this is why. It would never occur to them that they couldn't. You're planting that seed in their heads. You know what I mean? Thank you. And you. you know, it's like saying, uh, hey, when you get in the shower, I'm not going to read your diary. <laughs> for girls and for, for little baby girls and, and little females that are growing up right now because it's a scary time. They're forced to grow up so fast. They're told by grown-ups uh, that their, their body parts are gross and they should be ashamed of them. And then also there's this gas in the air that their sexuality is their only worth. It's just a fucked up time. You know, I, there should be a joke to that part, but for now I'm just leaving it serious. But they grow up, girls grow up so fast. Like, I have a friend who was a little baby girl and I was, I babysat her. I changed her diaper, totally shaved. <laughs> what a country. I know that's a Yakov Smirnoff catchphrase, but I'm repurposing it with sadness in ways. Totally shaped. Six months old. It's gross. It's like fucking a three month old. girls here and I just want to to grab you and and hold you and say you don't need a vaginal deodorant I know there are real commercials for it so it seems like a real thing but it's not I know you know when there's commercials for things you just have this odd trust that it, it's real it's not real okay it's just it's it's a made-up thing by scumbag money addicted corporate people, faceless, who are um, preying on a woman's greatest insecurity, smelly vagina. <laughs> you don't need a feminine deodorant, you need regular soap and water in the shower. Use whatever you wash your asshole with. Show me that strong <laughs> shower and there is still a any kind of rancidishness um you should go to the doctor <coughs> don't spray perfume on it do you see now how that's crazy that's what a fucking crazy person would do you guys were hoping that someone would come up here and lecture on women's studies right worry about that because I um a few men I've been with have told me that my vagina smells like a um a peach a peach tree <laughs> I don't know it's a peach tree dish Is that <laughs> my last joke took real acting <laughs> to you. I, I'm just going to say it. Sometimes I get, um, sometimes I get an orgasm from giving a blowjob. Is that, is that a normal thing to, to get an orgasm from giving a, oh, not giving a blowjob, taking a shit. Sorry. Uh, I love that 
joke because at the first juncture, the guys are like this and the girls are like this. <laughs> people have herpes than don't have herpes. There's no way that's true. Who here has herpes? <laughs> Neither. That's so crazy. None of us. We're the chosen ones. Everyone outside these walls. Find us unfuckable, I guess. But I'm um, because it's we don't make the simplest connections like the, the most obvious things that are right in front of our face can sometimes take a lifetime to realize you guys go to therapy come on you know it's like oh I I've been dating guys who have temper tantrums like because my dad had temper tantrums like it's so obvious you know 